So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to react a reaction video. So itong video na to is about Ed and Rose ng 90 Days Fiancé. Marami na akong nakita ng mga video na ganito and ito yung ano, ito yung nakita ko na parang interesting for me. Kaya I want to make a reaction on this reaction video. So panoorin natin si Ed and Rose ng 90 Days Fiancé. So start tayo dito. So they meet up at the airport for the very first time. I'm beyond beyond elated. I'm so happy right now. I'm so very happy to see you. You promise? That you uh, mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's like spinning him around like, uh, do we got the whole man's here? Did the package arrive in parts? Am I what you expected? Do you like? I expected yours told to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, no offense. It's not always about look. But when you look like that, you can't just be like, do you like? You like what you see? Anyway, that tells you yes, it's gonna be your mother or a liar. Choose one. It's short to me. <laughs> I thought if I told you I was the same height, maybe I would have a chance. I see on pers in person, she he is really big, <laughs> but short. Yeah, if I lie about my height, maybe I'll have a chance with you. Seems pretty sus. Catfishes be like, hey, I lied about being a female, so I would have a chance with you. <laughs> Let me see. Are we the same? Little. Poquito. <laughs> Poquito, un pequeño. She's Filipino! Why is he speaking Spanish to her? I mean, when I was in Japan, there were several times where I wanted to say gracias, but I did it and I caught myself, but he kept going, poquito, poquito brain. Do you find me attractive? Attractive always. Always? Yeah. Okay, well. Who you are, it's okay I, for me. What do you mean? I don't want to just be okay for you. I want to be, I want to be your man. Yeah, you're a man. You're my king. You my know? I'm her king. She's my queen. <laughs> this is how girls be talking to their OnlyFans subscribers. King! Yes! Attractive always you. You okay? It's like this whole relationship is so cringe. Oh my god, I just want to look at you. <laughs> I love you. Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> He treats her like his daughter, like a little kid, right? So basically, a lot of problems ended up happening over the course of the show. We made love. I'm sorry, what? Girl, you did not have to do that. Let's put it this way. I'm not only on cloud nine, but I can't wait to do it again. <laughs> I think she enjoyed it. Okay, here's the deal. What? Don't be mad at me, but um, last night when I noticed that your legs were kind of like mine. <laughs> they were hairy. You know, if you're in a relationship with somebody and you really like somebody and there are things that you don't like about them, you tell them in private. Yet yeah, he's out here doing it on TV. You gotta let the whole world know. She doesn't shave her legs. Y'all could have just like saved this for a private moment. No. So I'll make you do it. If you shave your legs, I'll shave my beard. Why? They shave my legs. Leg hair, it just seems kind of less feminine for a woman. Yeah, I don't, I don't like leg hair. It's gross. You know, about him. I'm sure she would also prefer a man with a neck or a dude that was taller than her, but instead we're here with this. My dude really has no room to talk. Your legs will be soft like my skin. Mm. Come on. Mm. Either that or you kiss me. Ah, no, 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 guys. Okay, okay. Ah! My girl snoo snooed him and doesn't want to kiss him. Wakes up with horrible regret. I mean, a dude is gonna be like, shave your legs, that's gross. You're gonna be upset, even more so. Cameras are rolling, it's gonna go on TV. TLC producers like, yeah, keep up the good content. I love you. <sighs> Holy smokes. How you doing, Last night was awesome. I love how every time he says I love you, she doesn't say it back. <laughs> what do you see? I see what I like. Very nice. You too, mm. shave your beard. Are you sure? Go. Disgusting! <laughs> 90 Day Fiance has taught me that people do crazy things for a green card. At this point, it's not even worth it. Apparently, Ed is the hygiene master. Found out that mayonnaise makes it smoother. <sighs> Or you could condition like the rest of us. You know, olive oil, good for your hair, scalp. No, we gonna go straight to the mayo. So he goes to her house for the first time. Surprise! Hello. Excuse me, family, it's my sisters. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Where are the windows? Big, big windows. That's not a window. Okay, that's okay. No flying um, bats or cockroaches. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, you don't know. He can't even turn his head. He has to 
altered his whole body to look at the windows. Those aren't windows. <laughs> Goes to a third world country. It's surprised. It's not like America. I like it, don't get me wrong. It's just a lot to take in. I'm just in a swarm of hot, sweaty people. Right now, it's probably over 100 degrees. <laughs> I'm in a swarm of sweaty people. By swarm, I mean me. Everyone's fine, they're chilling. Oh, yeah, oh, I have pink. pink. Give me a wallet. You can't just grab from my wallet. <laughs> okay. I want to see how much this is. I don't even I don't even know how much this is. Awesome. Keep the change. No. Yeah. No? Keep the change. It's, it's a 10 pesos. You know, he has no idea how much anything is. It's going to take forever for him to count and calculate the currency. You have somebody that lives in the country. It's so much easier to just give her your wallet that probably has like 20 bucks. Pull out a bill and pay for it. He was like, whoa, whoa, no. Don't keep the change. 10 pesos is equivalent to 20 cents. I bet you felt real stupid trying to get 20 cents back. She's not grabbing your money. She's literally helping you pay. You know, in Japan, if you have a bunch of coins, the cashiers tell you to like take them out and hold them out and they will take the right amount. Nice to meet you. Maria. Uh, Very nice to meet you. Ngayong nakita ko si Ed ng personal, mas maliit siya sa akin. Saka yung medyo mataba nga siya. So he met her sister for the first time. There was a little bit of drama with Ed and Rose's sister because her sister asked him for money and was like, don't tell Rose. Oh, sis got an American guy. That means they got money. Little does she know. My dude a cheapo. Oo nga naman, no. Parang si Ed, parang hindi siya nagtitiwala kay Rose nung sabihin niya na keep the change. Eh, ang point naman itong babae, taga-Pilipinas yun. Bakit... Bakit ano, bakit parang hindi ka pa naniniwala na i-keep the change? Eh, 10 peso lang yun. I -kung -kung Kasi kung i-convert mo yon yung 10 peso na yon is 10 cents lang. Siyempre nga naman, di ba itong si Rose, nasa ano siya eh, nasa TV, na yes. binibidyohan siya, alam niya na mapapalabas siya. Eh, but hindi naman sa peperahan niya itong si Ed, ginagawa lang ni Rose na mapadali yung ano, yung pagbibili, yung pagbili nila. Di ba yun yung point itong babae, nitong si ate na nagre-react. So, ituloy natin. Cheapo. My dog is named Teddy. This is also called Teddy. Rose and I have only made love once, but all in all, I think Rose and I have good chemistry. Chemistry where? Literally all he gets there are like bathing suits and lingerie. So this is um, mouthwash and I got you a cute toothbrush. This your breath is not um, pretty. Excuse me, what? Imagine being on TV with someone you're dating and then they're just gonna call you out like now is the perfect opportunity to let millions of people know. Your breath is not pretty, honey. The first things I noticed even at the airport, you know, was her breath, but I didn't know how to bring it up and I don't think she realizes it, but I do. My dude marinates his hair in mayonnaise. Did you hear the poor girl say anything? <laughs> Do you know that um, my concern is your health? Because if you get disease in your mouth, it goes to your heart. My dude, I walk an Easter egg waddling down the street when they went to the market. And he's going to talk to her about health. This is so embarrassing for her. I can't stand it. Her breasts so stink. Why do you keep asking for kisses? Nasty. I'm so assaulted that I want to give up pants to Ed and I feel embarrassed. I think Ed is a rude person. If Ed truly loved me, kailangan na lang tanggapin ni Ed kung ano ko. She said what had to be said. He is rude. And yeah, if you love somebody, you would tell them in private, like, hey, your breath kind of stinks. It's not that embarrassing if it's like both of you guys together, but we got a third cameraman in the room who's like, he treats her like she doesn't know anything. Like a child. Need some alone time with Rose so I can figure out if her feelings are really real for me. And I'm not just, you know, a way for her and her son to get out of the Philippines. There's so much footage that I can't possibly show you guys all of it. But basically, she's content with living at home. I've done my research. It doesn't seem like she's just trying to get out of her living situation and her country. From what I've seen, she's very humble and has a lot of dignity. This dude ain't even rich. You know, just average dude, below average looks, should be thrilled that anybody would take a second glance at him. But he's so picky, like, I don't know if she's using me. I don't know if she's the one. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. I mean You're it. You're so sweet. <laughs> First she cringed. Me. Okay, time to formulate an appropriate response. 
'Di ba itong ano, nag nag-viral to sa ano sa TikTok, sa Facebook itong I like the view tapos ni you're so sweet. <laughs> Patuloy natin. Having more kids is not something that I want. I had scheduled two appointments. It's a it's a snip snip. It prevents me from getting you pregnant. He got the snip snip just like my dog. But why did you wait this whole time? It's like her dream to have more kids. And he knew that. But he's like, nah, I wanted to meet you in person. I want to spend a, like a week with you, give you a nice week, tell you your breath stank, legs need to get shaved. And then I want to let you know, oh, I, I don't want to have kids. Oh, I actually can't. My bad. I hope this luxury resort vacation makes up for it. I feel um, very, very, very sad. And I think uh, I give you a time for thinking about this. Before they met up, he could have just told her, look, I ain't trying to have kids. Also, I'm as tall as you. We should meet up. Goes to meet up. You really won't be surprised when she's severely disappointed in what she got. Anybody want this man after knowing all this? Smash like if no. You hurt me. You lie me. Again and again and again and again. So I can't want to continue this relationship. She stood up for herself. She didn't get like dragged back and then was like, oh man, I don't know what to do now. Like she ended it before it got even worse. Change your behavior. I'm, just, I'm a bad person, okay? Yeah. My dude just dipped. If you need me, he's gonna be real easy for the camera crew to find. He got up and walked out like she was gonna chase after him. But I'm sure he tried to like look over his shoulder a few times like oh, she ain't coming. <gasps> Better run faster. I realize who is a uh, true Ed right now. I don't know. I'm just I can't hear her anymore. It just hurt. It just it hurts me too much. Ten out of ten shot of him just looking like a pink balloon walking out from behind the pillar. Show yourself. Bye. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Nag-walk out. Nag-walk out na si Eddie. Parang hindi niya ma hindi niya matanggap na ano. Parang hindi niya siguro ma-realize na ano na yung mga ginawa niya eh hindi naman dapat inaano pinapakita sa ano um, kasi mayroong ano eh, mayroong nag-film sa kanila. Dapat hindi niya yun ano ginagawa or dapat hindi niya yon ginawa kasi ginawa kasi malalaman ng maraming tao yung mga pinaggagawa niya tapos sinabi ni Rose na na hindi niya yun ano hindi na niya ayaw na niya ayaw na niyang ituloy so sinab hindi niya matanggap na bad person daw siya pero hindi naman yun yung directly na ibig sabihin ni ano ni Rose so, lahat ng points niya eh tama from from doon sa ano sa pag pag-shave ng leg ni Rose, yung breath stinks niya, tapos yung pagbabayad niya nung sa ano, siguro sa ano yun sa Quiapo yun or sa Baklaran. Tapos uh, yun sa bahay nila, yung ganun tapos yung pagbibigay niya ng pera sa kapatid niya. Tama nga naman, 'di ba? Bakit bakit mo sasabihin yun sa kanya sa ano? sa lahat ng tao kasi maraming manonood nun eh which is so bad buti na lang tinapos na lang agad ni Rose yung yung ugnay nila para hindi na maabot sa ano sa mas worst pa na scenario so ayun lang eh, yun yung yun yung dahilan kung bakit ko nagustuhan i-react to kasi gusto ko si Ate gusto ko I like how how she reacts to this um, Ed and Rose of 90 Days Fiancé. I hope you like this video and if you want more of this reaction video, please let me know. You can comment it down below and if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates. I'll see you on my next one. Bye!